A university is not something that one simply opens, like a savings account or a jar of pickles. Any self-respecting academic institution was doubtlessly opened long ago by dignified people who wore bowler hats and spoke via subtitle, The world is a creation of the past, and it is our job to keep it all going and try not to touch anything. Easy listening. The sound of Two Point County on Two Point Radio. Ricky Hawthorne waxing the waves lyrically and literally on Two Point Radio. Why don't you listen to this next track and I'll take that pebble out of my shoe. Now taking students for Scientography. We're more afraid of you than you are of us. The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it.
got breaking news for you on Two Point Radio. A zoo worker at the Grockel Bay Zoo has fallen into the gibbon enclosure. It's being reported that they're not under any immediate danger and zoo officials are currently negotiating with the gibbons for the employee's release. No, you can't have an extension. Sometimes I get asked what I would have done had I not gone into the desk jockeying trade. Well, as a young boy, I dreamed of being a spy. Yes, I pined for a life of international intrigue and late night dinners at the county's expense. Sadly, to be a spy, you need to be able to whisper, and I just can't do it. When it comes to disclosing secrets, you don't want my persistent volume and crystal clear intonation. Stupid questions will make you look stupid.
vibrational. Cheesy gubbins are back. Where did they go? Nowhere. <laughs> Cheesy gubbins. <laughs> the only thing you can count on. Skills.
got an update for you on the story of a zoo worker that fell into the gibbon enclosure. We're now hearing that the employee is rising through the gibbon social structure. Fascinating stuff. There's no word on what gibbons are, but I believe they're a kind of amphibious cat. Little smooth creatures with whiskers and a big bushy tail. Fantastic! <laughs> Lecture starting now.